<laughs> what, what, what did Nico just say? I did not hear him. All right, let's go into the game now. <laughs> he looks very incensed about it. So let's see what this Ridley can do. Of course, this Ridley, uh, uh, probably one of the best at UCLA. Uh, we have a Ridley of our own at USC, but I can't wait to see what it, do it does, especially against Amara. Uh, for those of you guys wondering, uh, at one point, Nico was also the best West Coast Marth back in the Smash 4 days. Really? Yeah. He was best West Coast Marth back in the Smash 4 days. Uh, dropped the character, and then he immediately picked up Shulk after yep. a while, and then became the best Shulk in all of Smash 4. Yeah. I, I don't want to say the only Shulk, but definitely the best Shulk. Oh, and that is an unfortunate air dodge. Yeah. He can bring it back. This, that, that... Fireball, the neutral beat, is so good against most of the sorties recoveries. Mm -hmm. Just the angle it sends and the knockback it has, just absolutely, uh, especially for uh, characters like Roy and Krom with pretty linear recoveries, and even with uh, Martha and Lucina if they get set too far out. Let's see what this really can do. Dash attack and send him off stage, but that frame one invincibility and that easy snap to ledge is going to take it. Now, 66% extra credit on uh, Soul, and it keeps climbing, but we'll see what he can do to get back. I was hoping to see some of the uh, the Nico Joker, too. Yeah. But, uh, I, I, I hope he pulls that out sometime later today. This Joker's got a lot of movement, a lot of text go. Gets the back air immediately. Soul turns it around after the... Oh, oh that's good. what? You can do that because you can only angle up B in four directions, right. and one of them is a and depending where you are on the lens on the stage, you can actually angle it to point that it's a dive. That's really so yeah, you can actually like because you only go in four directions, so that's what makes yeah like that. You can go for a dive, oh. and you have a constant hitbox, so you're able to go around. And maybe that's that's why we see him air dodging and unfortunately falling short is you know only having four angles and having four admittedly slightly weird slightly unorthodox angles mm -hmm. for a character to have you know back out of shield hurts the recovery yeah <gasps> we, yeah he he reads the he reads the <laughs> come in with that with neutral air so he's able to get that forward smash <laughs> I love that forward smash that's like that's the just in case you forgot Ridley was a dragon type of forward smash. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, unfortunately for Ridley, Mort Sword is the Falchion, and uh, canonically speaking, this thing kills dragons. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this exactly. thing's sole purpose here is to destroy dragons. <laughs> oh. Uh, wait, what? Oh, I feel like he might have misinput. Yeah, he, he misinput. He misinput you know, for sure. I don't want to say anything, but that Ridley killed himself all yeah. three times, and it was last stock. It's okay, man. Space Pirates pay billions of dollars to bring back Ridley as a machine <laughs> every Metroid game. Mecha Ridley, here we go. <laughs> yeah, oh. like, let's go Mecha Ridley. Right? That's not a skin, is it? Yeah, it is. It is? Uh, both, both Ridley's from Metroid, Prime, Metroid Zero Mission and Metroid Prime. Awesome. Yeah. I love that they put, you know, that type of, of uh, response from Nintendo, you know, if they can't give the tournaments money, at least they can give us Mecha Ridley. And just like I said, that's Mecha Ridley on stage right yeah. now. Yep. He, he always goes to color. I think it's also one of the best colors to him. Best yeah, it looks sick. I usually tend to go purple alts whenever I can. All right, let's see the battlefield. I mean, I feel like both characters could potentially do really well on this stage with Ridley's Nair especially just being incredible for these platforms. It's really good on the platforms because it covers the whole platforms, Nair, up tilt, all good tech, and gets the solid Tomahawk grab. Really good mixing up soul here, and at this point, Nico's kind of taking control of the whole stage. Like I mentioned earlier, you have such a big hitbox, but the thing for Nico here is he knows like what exactly to do to make sure that I don't get hit by neutral air. Yeah. As I said, that down throw into neutral air, sees the effect is going to go on a platform. I think for Nico in this matchup, he has to make sure his techs are on point. Absolutely. Because if you don't tech, you will get caught by that, and you wow. will get caught by that forward smash. The reason why it kills there is because really his hurtbox is so big in the middle so of the recovery big. that you can actually get him. Absolutely. And I'm sure, you know, not only is it hard to snap the ledge, but, you know, the fact that everything extends throughout the stage and the disjoint that Marth has, you know, mm -hmm. makes it a matter of timing, not of possibility. Nico sort of Lelis each time, oh, that was so close, but uh, you got a big shield when you're such a big guy. I like he, that he was going for that because I just noticed that Ridley was trying to play in shield a lot, but then we see the forward smash read again, taking another stock from Nico. Yeah, and Nico did a good job even falling himself in the recovery there. He went for the side B to slow himself for just an extra second to get around the, the plasma blast. Oh, so close, but it, it's a hair off. No, say what you will about Marth in this game, but every time I, I even just see a tipper, you know, the slight hesitation in this game. Oh. Oh. All right. All right, Soul. Time for you to show 
what you can do to take a game off Nico's mark. Oh, that's good. Uh, he went for up E immediately because it's, it works pretty much like a DP option. Yeah, absolutely. If your opponent's going to hit your shield or if they're so close, just go for an up E, and it's pretty much frame five on the ground. It's one of his fast ground moves. And especially at the ledge at, uh, against Ridley, who's not the heaviest character. At 146, yeah. it would have killed, no question about it. Oh, good. He gets the forward air. Not the tipper, though. And it's he enough to stop that. really for one forward smash. Oh, tries to go for an up yet again. This, Here's his forward smash. Ooh, this really, really knows his angles. Ah, going for the style. He knows the angle that he has to go for down, too, unfortunately. <laughs> Either going for the style or missing that snap ledge that we saw in the earlier game. I can't tell you. Unfortunately, I don't know the player uh, too well to know if they're stylish like that. But this he's, is... He's, he's, Soul's usually known for going for these kinds of styles. Like uh, he was able okay. to do it last time they fought. Oh, oh. Just slightly mistimed that... that uh, ooh. Slightly mistimed that, that fire. Let's see if he can take him off the edge. Watch uh, Nico wins. in a bit of a trouble. <gasps> yeah. That's why Nico kind of went for the stall the last time because it would have gotten soul damage on Nico, but it also possibly would have taken him on stage. The thing that there was the last time from this one is Nico was above soul, so it made sense to go for the stall. Absolutely. On the landing. On the landing, though. Not on from when you're coming from that low. Uh, both players a little bit of indecision. Nico soul searching what stage he might be going for. I don't know if he's going to stick to. Uh, to Marth or maybe go Shulk? Uh, you watch his streams, two scoops, underscore Nico. He heard me. He wanted the Joker. And yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, uh, this is Nico's one of his favorite characters, one of the characters he wanted to play as. Uh, I hope to see a lot of great things coming out from his Joker. But like I said, one more time for the plug-in here. Just watch him <laughs> in his practice modes. He likes to cover a lot of things on his decisions. Uh, two scoops underscore Nico on his Twitch. Mm, he's got my go. personal favorite emo down. So if I give him a look, he immediately starts off at the back air. And he's got soul on the bit of the corner here. And, you know, this is one of the greatest things about winning the game one in a best of three. You get, for that game three, you get that counter pick advantage. I respect the shield there because he knew Soul was behind him, so he wanted to make sure he was around. Gets the Rebels Guard and RSN already. Oh, no. Good dash for the grab. Oh, no. Oh, God. Just parry, I mean, countering such a massive attack. Gives yeah. Gives free RSN. The reason why is because he knows how comfortable Soul has been going for punishing Nico with, like, for an example, a forward tilt or going for the skewer. Yeah. Because he knows he's so comfortable. So at this point, if you're just using Rebels Guard, that's almost free RSN. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, you know, oh, so many of Ridley's attacks are so many. Oh, I would love to see a counter on a sweet spot yeah. down B from Ridley. That would be incredible. But he still takes half damage, so I, what, what would it be? Uh, a sweet spot would still do, uh, against a countering Joker, would probably do something around, like, 20, yeah. 22%. It's insane. And he only takes half the damage from Rebel's Guard. There's another Rebel's Guard. I'm telling you, he's so used to, so, so used to going for forward tilt and going for those moves. Oh, you're, you're, no, you're good, you're good. You're yeah, good. yeah, yeah. This is Arsene. This is one of the best game when it comes to just vertical height. You know, slight angles on the recovery and slight invulnerability and no hitbox, yeah. but in terms of getting you back to stage... <gasps> Angle... Uh, you oh, Remember, you get slight invulnerability, but it's only 25 frames on the startup. On the startup. So you have to be careful when you go afterwards. You know, this is not undoable for Ridley. Ridley is a character that if he gets that one string that he wants and that one combo or one setup that he wants... He's pretty powerful, he's, yeah. He's just a powerful dude. Forward smash, forward tilt, <laughs> skewer are all really powerful. And the thing about Ridley, though, he's actually a midweight, so he does take a lot of damage and he dies a little bit earlier than a heavyweight would. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. Too big for smash, but he's a middleweight. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, and that F smash that we're talking about, oh, good, a good recognizing that he was going to re-grab the ledge. Yeah, and good for Nico to go for these empty hops for the, either the back arrow or the tomahawk grab, simply because, like, it's always like, a game against Soul. Gun sliding here to make sure he has He's about to get Arsene stuff. again. Yeah, so close. Second, uh, no, first time this stock, but, oh, what, what, what a worse time for Soul for him to get Arsene. He's a, you know he's gonna get his basic bread and butter early percent combos and yeah. they're gonna do even extra damage and be even more meaty. Down tilt, okay. Neutral air. The thing about neutral air do in RSN mode, you are able to get two hits from neutral air, and the hitbox is much bigger, so it's really good to do both for an out of shield option with neutral air. Forty one percent. Fair one into uh, fair again. You know, uh, oh. F smash wouldn't have killed, but I enjoy the gun plan. Yeah. Or I should say, I enjoy gun. Um. This, this Joker is really out here. Oh, no punish on the re-grab. 
going for the Rebel's Guard. Soul either baiting it out or just hesitating just a little bit and the uh, yeah. grappling hook being able to take it back. It's good. I can say, man, Soul, every time he goes for an aerial, Nico's already been used to it, especially sensing out how it was with Marth. Yeah. So game three, for him to just go Joker and like, fine, if you want to go for aerials like that all the time, I'm just yeah. going to read it with Rebel's Guard. Yeah. It's up to Soul to start pulling himself back a little bit and then going, okay, I'm a little bit too thirsty. Yep. And that's, that's what's going to happen to me. And if GG's to both. Good job for Soul for taking the game, and uh, great job to Nico for showing us both his Marth and his Joker. Yeah. And 